Well, hello, Mr. and Mrs. Beatmaker. Um, just thought I'd do a quick video. Oh, come on. Just thought I'd do a quick video explaining how you can set your Chaos Pad. This is a Chaos Pad 2. I imagine it'll work with Chaos Pad 1. Definitely work with Chaos Pad 3. Although, I'm sure there's probably a better way to do the Chaos, Chaos Pad 3. Uh, to use it as a MIDI controller for certain effects. Uh, such as the Effector plugin on Fruity Loops. Otherwise known as FL Studio. Um, right, let's get started. Right. First of all, you will need to have plugged your Chaos Pad in using MIDI cables. Uh, although, to, ju to just use it as a MIDI controller, I don't think it matters about the um, the in one. As long as you've got it, a MIDI cable going out from this. Um, and then to an in, I'm using the MIDI port on my um, audio weight sound card thing for my tractor. Uh, that's that. Then, over in your FL Studio, uh, go to MIDI settings. Come on, you stupid. MIDI settings. Then, um, See, there's my uh, sound card there. It, it knows that it's got a, a MIDI port, which is why it's listed there. And I've basically just turned it on. Just leave it as generic controller. Um, that's about that. Okay. Then, what you want to do, open your effect up. I'm using this because clearly it's probably a very good thing to use for it because it's a X and Y type thing. Uh, what you want to do is uh, tell it what you want to control. So, starting with the X, uh, if you go to this little arrow thing here and go to Browse Parameters, press the button, press X. Hang on a minute. Silly old Mark. No, what you do. <laughs> ah. Just right click the fucking button. Go to link to controller. You get this little box pop up. Now, the thing that I struggled with was uh, like if you go and press the pad now, that will close. And it will sort of work, as in you'll press it and that will move. But it's like it's not right. What you want to do is change the control thing here to 12 for the X. Uh, that's it. Accept. Don't even have to touch it. And then for the Y, do the same. Right click. Link to controller. But for the control number, put that as 13. That's OK. Now, if you go back to your uh, chaos pad, when you touch this, you'll see it's moving like magic. Next, uh, what you want to do, because at the moment you've got a bypass button is on, and when you touch the pad, it doesn't do anything. Uh, well, it moves, but you have to you have to manually take that off. So what you want to do, right click there, link to controller, remove conflicts will probably be active, so turn that off. Uh, then press press the pad. Ding ding ding. ding. Which does that. Quick way of doing it. But first, because at the moment it's now working in reverse. So every time you press it, it turns it off which is pointless. So, right click that, go to link controller again. In the mapping formula, just click the old inverted tab there. Accept. Now, press the thing, it's off, it's on. See? Ta da Now, next. Uh, this is a bit of a 
Oh, you're fucking joking. <laughs> Power's gone. No. I'm sure it didn't. Right, we're back in business. So, that's that bit done. Um, then the next bit is a bit of a preference, like personal preference, really. Uh, because you've got all these, these other knobs and stuff, but all you've got left on here uh, is the effects depth. That's a MIDI controller type thing. Uh, and the mute there, the fucking pad motion isn't, mute is. So that's a switch. Um, and that's an orb. <laughs> uh, I think that's one as well, I'm not sure. But anyway, so unfortunately you can't use this, can't use this, can't really use these, can't use that, can't use the pad motion. So it's that and that, maybe that, I'm not sure, try it yourself. Uh, so, what I've, what I've, um, decided to do is you can either have the the roller cycle through the um, like the speed of those like half bar or whatever so it's just, you know um, the dry and wet is probably the most obvious thing uh, you could use it for cycling through these literally it's up to you but it's all the same way um, actually it's not. To do the dry dry wet is all the same way. Right click it, link to controller, then turn it, that goes. I don't know if you can see that but it's turning up and down. See? Really simple. That's probably the most sensible way to have it. Um, but if you wanted to, you could use use it to cycle through these but if you right click those nothing happens so what you must do when you click it look you see it comes up there it tells you what it what it is moderate so click this little down arrow go to browse parameters uh, and then if you just press press one of those you'll see that it highlights moderate in this little list that comes up then you can right click that and then link to controller then turn it just move that conflict thing turn it and then you're cycling through the speed of those see uh, i was gutted about the uh bar thing because you could use it as a switch so uh, you can cycle down or up but only down or up you can't go down and up which would have been ideal cycle through down click up but it don't work like that um, so but to do that anyway, if for some reason, or if you've got, I don't know, if basically if you want to know, uh, you can cycle th through it by um, changing the input to three. Oh, hang on a minute, what do you want to do? Uh, B. Yeah. Yeah. Just click on uh, two times bigger increment. But two times, oh, and change this to increase. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. Except, now, which way is that going to go? It's going up. Right, so start at the bottom. Now you see, I switch the switch. Fucking hell. I switch the switch once, nothing happens. Press it twice, it goes. Press it once, nothing happens. Press it twice, it goes. That's terrible. So what you want to do um, is go back into the browse parameters, moderate, link to controller, 
change that to fucking camera two or three and then goes through but then you're stuck when you get to the top if anybody knows of any way that you could maybe do that that'd be great but that's as far as I've got so all in all if you just play this little beat that I've been working on here <laughs> like in one pattern uh, we can see it all in action Bring in the drums. So that's how you do that. You can also, uh, unfortunately, you have to do that every flipping time that you want to control that. There's no way, or well, I don't think there is. Fuck knows, I only did this last night. Um, but you can, of course, you could do it, you could do the same thing on anything. Uh, anything you wanted, really. Right, that's it. Let's get it out of here, man. And of course, by anything, I mean as long as you remember X number 12, Y 13, you can have it. So any knob you can control. Let's see. Uh, where's my finger? Right there. Cross weird. Back to one. Yeah, but like. It would just be like turning an elbow and down. So you can do some really funky shit, man. Right, out of here. A piece.